What's up, Shabog family? Today we're gonna to be talking about what was uploaded on your Google Classroom. It is a project about product photography. I'm gonna give you a step-by-step -step guide for those who have been struggling with the written form. Product photography is a part of commercial photography where you want the product to look as attractive as possible but still represents the brand. Let's take a look at some of these examples. Companies like Snapple, Nintendo, Marvel, and Lego all need product photography to help sell their goods. And as a photographer, we can help with that, right? So let's get into it. Step one, look around your house for a product to photograph. It could be your favorite toy or uh, your video game system or some candy or wh whatever you would like it to be. Just make sure it's something that will be fun to photograph. I'm gonna choose this watch. Step two, now that you have your product with your parents' permission, please go to Google and look for product photos of the item you chose. This is the image I picked. Step three, keep your photo close because now we're gonna to try to replicate the image you chose. Look around your house for a light source you can use to illuminate your product, like a lamp, the sun, um, or maybe a flashlight. All those will work really well. Remember, a white or silver surface like tinfoil or paper can make great reflectors. Step four, take a lot of photos. Move the light around until you feel like you've got an image that represents the original image very well. Once you do, you're ready to roll. Remember, these companies are counting on you. This is my photo. So some people are gonna think, wow, Mr. Ricky's using pro gear, how can I do that? Well, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna use a phone and a lamp to do the same thing. Now I do have a black backdrop. One thing you can do to recreate that is to get a sheet or a cover that's black and it'll be the same thing. Just make sure you get your subject, your product away from the backdrop and um, it'll be exactly the same thing that you see that I've done here. The reflective black surface I have here is just used to replicate the image that I took. So you don't have to do anything like it. You can use something else totally. If you have a mirror or anything, you can also do something kind of cool. Um, but that's what I chose um, to do with my image. Step five, download Snapseed or any other editing service you have on your phone or your computer. Edit it until you feel like the image is a little different than the original and you've given a little flair. You don't have to go over the top, just enough where you feel like the image looks really good. This is my final image. Step six, be creative. I want you to do the same thing over again, but this time, make it your own idea, okay? Whatever you want, it's on you, but just using the same product item that you chose. The last and easiest step, send the photos to me at shabakphotoclass at gmail.com or upload them to Google Classroom. Thanks guys for watching, stay safe, and God bless. We'll see you soon.